Hi guys, I'm Nimi Melvin here from Nimi Sat. Today I'm going to show you how to draw and paint Mary Poppins with acrylic paint. So let's start. So we're going to start our drawing. First I'm marking how much space I want the figure to be. Total one, two, three, four, four and a half total space with three finger unit head size. And for the head we, we can start with a big oval shape. Very light and simple sketching and then add the torso with a kind of trapezoid and connect these two shapes with a rectangle shape. And from this point you just need to draw a big long dress like this. So we're just drawing like a mannequin shape and then here to draw the legs over here. So the hand, the position of the hand will be like this, going up like this with a curved line and this one is down, hold the back. Skeleton is ready, now we have to draw the detail. First I'm going to add details for the face, I'm cutting this into half, vertical and horizontal line and on this line we're going to add the eye, closed eye and the nose, kind of L shape and a tiny curved line for the mouth and on the either side of the ear you just need to add the ears and then from here we have to add the hair the line for the hair on the forehead and just outside this we can draw the hair so for the hat we just need to add a kind of diagonal line and then connect it with the that head then we just need to add the trapezoid shape or kind of rectangle shape for the and add one more line and we have to raise all that other details inside this hat and also on the face. Now we can draw the details of the clothes. So just connect these two shapes with a curved line here and from this side, from the side of the neck we just need to make two lines for the coat and from the shoulder we just need to add the collar of the coat like this and then one v-shaped line for the car now i'm going to add the hand so just make a long rectangle like shape curved rectangle like shape just make a curved line and connect it with the clothes then do the same thing so these lines are slightly curved not exactly straight lines and then just add start with an oval shape and we will do the details after this and for the clothes, there is an extra detail on the sleeves. So that is kind of one line starting from here and then another line here. One line here and then another extra line over here. And just add the belt with two lines. And from this line, we have to draw another line. Again, this line has to go from here till here with a curved line. And from this end of this curve, you just need to make one extra line. And we can start the lines of the legs from here. So the leg, so we start one line from here and then one horizontal line. Again, you have to draw one horizontal line over here. And start one thin line from here and make a small curve and connect it with the horizontal line. Again, do the same thing. Start a curve line. Connected with the curve, I mean connected with the horizontal line with another curve on the side. And just need to make a heel. So add a tiny rectangle like shape and make a small curved line for the shoes. And we have some details on the hat. So it's like a small bird pattern on this. So we can add a small oval shape and a tiny beak and kind of pattern like design with one curved line over here. If you don't want to draw this, you can add some flowers. And for her accessories, first you have to draw a triangle sh shape. Then from these triangle shape, you just need to add two lines and add a curved line on the side. And add the flags handle from here to this side. So we can add the thumb over here. It's like a small U shape here. And that is kind of connecting with the rectangle shape. And for the umbrella, you just need to add one rectangle shape for the fingers and add a thumb 
outside this and for this rectangle shape you can add four fingers and from this line you have to go one straight line you can use a ruler if you want and at the end for the handle there is a small bird so just add an oval shape and beak and eye and for the umbrella we are not uh, exactly drawing the umbrella we just need to draw the side of this so make a straight line horizontal line over here and a curve then you just need to add the curved line along the sides of this horizontal line And if you want to add some background details, you can draw with your pencil now or else you can add later with the paint. So I'm starting painting. First I'm painting the background. So we have some cobalt blue, white, and tiny bit of magenta first I'm simply painting the background so it's okay if you're covering these lines and sometimes you have to do two three layers to get the nice finishing Now I'm going to add some white clouds into the sky. So just take some white with the same brush. Then you can simply do some rough dry brush you know, or patches of white color.
so I have completed the background now I'm going to start painting the skin tones so you can take a skin tone if you already have a color like a peach color or something or else you can take some red plus lemon yellow and add some white to it Now I'm making a darker tone of the skin tone. So just add a little bit more red and more yellow and make it into a dark peach color. And if your color is not dark enough, you can add a tiny bit of blue or green into it. And this is for outlining the lines. If you are not doing a sharpie outline, you can use this color for outlining the the details of the face and also the outline the sides the contours of the face too Now we can take some lighter tones of the skin tone with more white and the same color tones. A bit of yellow and a tiny bit of red. So this is kind of a highlight we are adding at the end for the, the lightest areas of the face. Then we will blend with another clean brush. Now I'm taking some burnt sienna and I'm going to do the hair and also the eyelashes and outline for the eyes. 
before if you have a black sharpie you can outline it with that too Add some blue or black into the brown and make a darker tone. Then you can do one more layer of color. Just only on the shadow areas and outlines. Now we can take colors for the clothes and accessories. First I'm taking a dark magenta color for the hat. I'm going to use the same color for the gloss. I really like this color. So you can choose your own color for the hat and blouse. And I'm adding some orange into the magenta to make a lighter tone. I'm going to do on the sides, especially on these sides with the hat. And some light tone for the blouse too. Add more layers of uh, magenta to make it darker on the shadow area. Then we're going to add a bit of white plus orange for the lightest area of the hat. I'm going to take a bright red color for the scarf. So just take any bright red. If you don't have bright red, just add some orange plus any red you have. And I'm going to apply this color for here, scarf. dark magenta lines on the sides of the scarf for the shadows. So 
so now we can take colors for the coat so I'm going to, now we can take colors for the coat so I'm going to take a black color for the coat and a blue color for the dress some dark Prussian blue for the dress I'm adding two blue color together so primary blue in this set and it is kind of a medium tone so I made it darker with darker Prussian blue Now I'm going to add a tiny bit of white to the blue and I'm going to do a lighter tones on some areas. So I have completed painting the dress. Now we have to take colors for the coat. So I'm taking some black color. And first I'm doing outlines of these lines. Otherwise we will lose all these details. So just do an outline and then we will make a dark gray tone. Then we will paint inside. Now add some white, little bit of white and make it darker grey. Then this color you can apply for the all the other areas. Now I'm using the same color for the boots too. And a little bit of highlight on the shoes. And a gray highlight on the shoes. Now I'm going to take colors for the umbrella. So I'm going to use black color for the umbrella. So take your black color and then you can carefully do the sides of the umbrella
now i'm painting the robin on the hat with an orange bright red color and i've got the details with the same color drop. there is some brown on the bird's neck and all And take some orange or red color for the lips. So just add a tiny line just below that line for the lips. Now we have to color the back. So I'm taking a brown color for the handle. Burnt sienna. You can use any color for the bag. So let's add some light colors like turquoise blue. Yellow color, red, orange. So make it small color too. And some magenta color on top. some final touches at the end And finally, I'm going to add some cherry trees on the sides with some pink color tone. It's like here. I have completed my painting. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.